Christine, are you sure you're all right? Yes, Raul, I'm fine. I just got startled by the knocking. Wait, what's the time? I'm not sure, but the sun will be setting any moment now. In any case, I believe it's about time I return home now. Philip said that our sisters would be coming today. Oh, it's too bad that you must go, but I suppose we have no choice. Are you taking the carriage? I'll walk down with you. I had such an incredible day with you, Christine. Likewise, it was a pleasant day for me. I'm glad you had a good time. Half the promised month has already gone by. Christine, are you sure this is fine? Wow, what do you mean? I'm terrified of the thought of having you bid you adieu forever after a month is over. Christine, I love you with all my heart and soul. If only I could stop time. Well, you should probably be leaving. You haven't seen your family for a while. Besides, we can meet again tomorrow and the day after that, can't we? Yes, Christine. Have a lovely evening, Raul. See you tomorrow. Let's go to Charity Mansion in St. Germain Street. It's already been half a month. I should never mention going to the Arctic. If I were to give up the expedition, then I could stay with Christine. No, no, Philip would never allow it. As an officer of the Navy, a member of the Chagney family, the North Pole expedition is... I must either lose Christine or my family honor. Perhaps family honor wouldn't be the only thing I'd lose. But I... Well, I'm home. It would seem that something has happened to you. Tell me all about it. Philip, I made up my mind. I'm not going to the Arctic. What? Well, are you out of your mind? You were the so thrilled to join the expedition. Yes, sir. Back then, I was definitely so excited. Happy to give up my life for the honor of the Chagney family. Rao, what is this nonsense you speak of? Nonsense, you say? Do you mean to bring dishonor to the reputation of the great and marvel Chagny de la Roche? I will no longer support you if you don't go on that expedition. You are supporting the Chagny name. You are not supporting me. When I walk down the street, people whisper and gossip. There goes the black sheep of the Chagny family, the second son who was so sent away to the navy... Well, you fool. You think of your sister's aunt and your late parents. What would our aunt say if she saw you like this? Fine, let me at least hear what's keeping you from going to the Arctic. It's because I won't be able to see Christine again if I go. I would gladly cast aside that honor in the name of love. Christine Daae! If I hear you mention her name one more time, I will disown you as my brother. Do you want to ruin your future with some singer? What about you, then? You have no intention to marry Miss Sorley. You said that a woman of lower standing can be discarded after you had your fun. Does Miss Sorley know of this? 
Of course not. Philip D. Chagney would never be honest with a woman of lower standing. Why, you little... Nothing you say can change my mind about not going to the Arctic. The person I love more is important to me, and the only honor is the... Da, 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 on the, in the honor of the family. Well, just remember that you're not the only member of the Chagney family. Don't say I never warned you, Rao. I swear to you, this is your final warning. I should tell Christine about this tomorrow at the theater. I go everything to have for her, but I regret nothing. I made my decision for her. I was to meet her at the dressing room. I should hurry. Man, why am I, like, losing how to read all of a sudden? I mean, I already can't read, but I was doing okay until recently. Did it really take me three minutes to get to her fucking room? <laughs> Welcome, Raoul. Christine, did something go wrong? You don't look well. Half a month has already passed by. I grow even more distressed with each day that passes. I feel the same way. Christine, there's something that I'd like to say to you. You can tell me anything, Raoul. This engagement game, it's most delightful. But I want to be even happier. Raoul, did I do something wrong? Can you tell me what it is? Christine, I made up my mind yesterday. I'm not going to the Arctic. Wait, what? I even forfeited my brother's support to make this decision. Raoul, why are you? From this day forth, there will be no playing seeker engagement. We shall truly get engaged. I will marry you, no matter what. Christine, I mean it with all my heart. You said that we are only playing engagement. To me, it was never playful. How could it be? 